Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So uh, this video is about using, using internet to do remote teaching, particularly for using Zoom. I know people have different choice to use Zoom or different uh, um, internet provider or video provider. Whatever tool you use, there is something that is uh, that is, uh, we all uh, need to follow. For example, how to choose the right light, how to choose the right place, etc., etc. One of the things is to enjoy life. So, uh, usually I walk on the other side. If you can see, let me see. Oh no, I, you cannot see. I cannot change. But this place is very much closer to my um, to our internet connection so sometimes I can walk here and um, <laughs> but I need to be really careful to catch that uh, that little short of window there will be people walking there will be people doing construction and uh, so I try to <laughs> squeeze in the time I think we heard a bounce sound just now. So first about lighting. Nothing is better than natural lighting, even if under a yellow umbrella. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. This is not even the uh, virtual background. This is real. So computer does not need to spend its energy to figure out who is who. It get capture the whole image. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Yeah, I will do my meeting this afternoon here. <laughs> So, okay, so this is when there is light. When you put a light in your background, the computer or the, any of the electric device, they detect light and they always focus on the lighter part or the reflection or the comparison of darkness and brightness. When there is something so bright, so it uh, naturally takes the sensor's attention into that light. And you are not bright enough. You are not the focal point. So you can see the image. So you can see the re image is relatively grainy and you look very dark. So you can see it like this some chocolate there. Sorry. <clears throat> so this makes you look very dark and very dull. Avoid using backlight. Instead, use a front light. So first I will uh, oh, oh. So first I will add the front light. Here I have a light. You see, myself is a little bit brighter. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> so myself a little bit brighter, but the light is just too bright. Try to avoid it. Use a piece of uh, a piece of paper or scarf, or maybe this can create some different kind of color scheme. Anyway, 
<laughs> the idea is do not get too bright light and use a piece of a plain scarf will be better. And the best thing, just turn off the background light. Let's do it. I will go to turn off the light. Okay, I have turned off the background light and it's a little bit better. This is my silk painting scarf. Let me cover it up a little bit. So you can see the light is a little bit softer, right? And how about this? Turn it off altogether. And you are not seeing my face, you are seeing through the computer. So the computer. Uh, uh, reflection is still get a little bit uh, not so good. <laughs> so um, avoid too bright light, too much shadow, and you can put a pair of socks, uh, <laughs> a, a glove, something to cover your light or a scarf or something or a piece of a tissue paper or toilet paper which is the most precious commodity at this time right and then put on the right uh, um, everything right you can put a, a little bit brighter of lipstick at this time usually i use a much neutral color because we have movement we have uh, a gesture we can walk around when you face fa face to face with people you can talk you can open up your eyes but in front of a small screen you see here I see in a relatively large screen but the people who actually having this video conference with me often time they actually hold their phone do like this i always see people do uh, their conference with uh, with a phone and um, and hand moving around it's not the most ideal situation so nobody sees very much of you and bring some highlight point and uh, for example lipstick is the highlight point and I have different colors of glasses. So this is blue. You can see a little bit of blue. So this is good. And uh, I have a pair of uh, blue um, glasses. Today is mostly blue, as you can blue, as you can see. This kind of red glasses may better go <laughs> with a red or neutral color earring instead of this one. Okay, let me change it right here, right now. Since I am, since I am in front of it. Okay, so this might be better to go with these uh, glasses and uh, my um, clothing today is usually um, is blue but still there are some this brownish color so make sure yourself uh, it it looks a little bit more uh, neutralized a little bit more uh, natural so that is how i do to try to make myself um, make myself good and uh, nothing complicated you want to you want to not even you want to be the best of yourself. It's our way of showing respect for the people 
who spend their time in front of a, a, a camera, in front of in front of an iPad to look at us. So another thing you have seen, I raised up my I raised up my laptop. And uh, in stores, online, you can you can buy some good lap laptop stand. I think my son has one uh, a laptop stand, so it is no, not so clumsy. But in any case, a mailbox can raise up the stand, so you do not look down. Let's see if without this one. Sorry for the crunchy noise so you see your face it sees a lot of very much of of your chins and also the light and if you put it too high may not be good neither so this way is relatively flat and uh, and it takes time to work out what works better for you. Until you reach that time, try around. Because when you are comfortable, when you are at your better part, it is more productive. It is more convincing. And uh, it will produce less distraction later on. Play around. This time is not wasted. Another thing, and um, uh, a friend asked me, why do you want to make this kind of video, educational video, or sharing this? I feel it's fun. It's something I have. I am. I have nothing in my life. <laughs> what do I say? I do not have much in my life. And this is the thing that I can offer to this world. Why not share it? It's something good. It, by doing good, you actually feel good and be a better person. And, um, well, <laughs> we do not have money. We do not have... Uh, um, we, we live a humble life comparing with people who live great, live glorious, live glamorous. We are not. So maybe we should do some contribution to the society by trying to be a little bit better. <laughs> and uh, do I make any sense? I kind of... Why do I do this? It's a... Uh, we don't have much that makes us feel good. And by doing something... By doing something good, it just makes me happy. It makes me feel good, I think. I think that's the core. I do not have much thought about it. Uh, why do you do good? Do good, make you feel good, and eventually you, you just feel good. You, you feel good. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's not for anybody else. It's for myself to make me feel good, feel happy. And this is also the reason I make a lot of video people do not feel happy. And people, but it's their business. The more I try to explain it, the more it becomes <laughs> hard to explain. You get the idea. So um, another time, uh, an another time, some friends ask about uh, the sound and and uh, uh, what mic microphone or speaker you use. Another thing I want to say. So you can see that on the background here. Hmm? Yeah. You can see on the background, I put that uh, uh, a big screen there. I do not use it. I decide not to use it. Use something simple, as simple as possible, as, t as least as possible. 
And because any time you add up anything, know it or not, it will suck up the energy of your little uh, essential things. And uh, this can make me good enough if I change, go together with that big uh, laptop, big screen, the resolution is different. So it changed screen size. If I move this one to that, it will, um, it changes screen size and it changes screen darkness and brightness. Make it, make it every single time I need to adjust myself. I think over time, we have the ability to adjust ourselves. But uh, it's an energy spend for now. I do not think it was the cost. This will do the job. It's good enough for me. And I will stick with this for now. Make things simple. I have seen people use three, four screens. It's their business. It's their likeness. If they have the capacity, go. If you have the capacity, go ahead, do it. And you can have screen, um, four or five screens, three or four screens. You uh, put this one here, another screen here, and uh, uh, zoom screen here. You can do whichever way you like. For now, I have not figured out Go, uh, uh, I, will, um, I will keep myself away from it. I will do as simple as possible. For now, use simple stuff. Another thing in my class, I often use uh, the class time to do instruction. How you do instruction? Do you put a piece of white board on the back of you? That's a good idea. Another thing, because I make video, YouTuber, you know, yeah, whatever, YouTuber. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So I use this, I use this as my other screen to make video so that students can see the instruction right in front of their eyes. So let's go to... I think we are on, yes, we are on Zoom. There is nobody. Now I will let my laptop join. Laptop is already on the meeting without any participant, only myself. Now I will let my uh, iPhone join in. Maybe I will need another iPhone to record the join in process. Okay, so I use another phone to record this joining process. Give me a couple of minutes time. This is not an educational video. You will not learn anything from me. So this is the iPhone. It will record how I join in. Okay, so when you're about to join a meeting to hear others, please join audio. And you do not want to join audio with this cell phone because it will produce that echo sound. And uh, your computer and, uh, the, and the microphone will sound together, but is asynchronized. It's not exactly the same time. There is a delay and it's very hard to hear. It's just very torturing. You feel you hear the first word and then the second word is not coming up. It's not good. So cancel that. Am I in the right zoom? Okay. You cancel that sound. Okay. Now I can see two screens. I have not yet opened up my video. It's better that I turn on the video. So these... Uh, headset can be used as one of the other two. So it shoots on my roof. I will do to go this one. Yes, mirror it. Okay, not yet. 
Yes, now it sees my desktop. Now let's take a look here. And it sees two screens. One, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, that's good. And turn it this way. It sees two screens. One is the screen of my Zoom. Another one is the, the workspace it shows. And your Zoom at this time, you can choose to make it gallery view or speaker view. Right now, it's gallery view. Now it's speaker view. This is speaker view. This is gallery view. When you have class, you want to see all the students, how they participate, how they work, you do this. There are times you want to make sure that one is making a headlight. So you make a because these two, if you have more participate, you can make sure one is a spotlight video. I do not have other participate. I do not have that function. Otherwise, in one of these three dots, in one of these three dots, you will see spotlight video. And this one, because it is all my video, both are Haiying Yang one of my cell phone and one of my uh, uh, my laptop. So it's connected. I cannot do that function. But otherwise, you can see the two of them. Okay, now I will show you how I use this. So here, I can make sure that uh, I am spotlight video not participants i cannot show that one but you will see here i am capturing okay now you will see the capture so this is how i do this video you can see here i am capturing this one you can see here five times five equal a hundred. Uh oh, that is not right. That is not right. Minus seventy five. So this is my handwritten on real paper. This is on screen and you can adjust this distance of of your uh, capture uh -oh, that's too much i have one hand working on that it's quite impossible it's absolutely impossible oh i made it possible gosh so I make sure that this is a big, huge screen so that the students can see it clearly. Yeah, this is the screen the students will see. And this is the way I make a demo. You have a headset. No, no, not headset. You have a, 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 a tripod with a handset with a cell phone to capture the image no moving another one is your instructional you can see the students you can see what classroom is happening and uh, from time to time you need to share screen okay now i'm on full screen so i cannot see Okay, so I, okay, I close off the chat. So now I'm in this one. I want to share one of my video. You can see my, I can walk on. Before you share all this, nobody sees. Your channel. Uh -huh. Okay, I 
go to my channel <laughs> that's good so i want to show students one of the painting about not comment about my videos one of the painting of how to do uh, digital drawing okay up to now nobody sees anything nobody sees anything until i press share screen you can work on it and share screen share this screen share desktop or share your learn to draw 3d your safari window and only when you press this one this will show up anything else is not showing up you can keep on doing something funny but actually when you show it you do not see anything so this is the screen people will see people will see this screen and you want to blow it up to full screen see this is full screen everybody sees full screen you do a class demo like this and let me zoom in see that is so much cleaner and easier to do class demo like this so i pre-make videos for my class and i usually make video something like five minutes if for sleeping video 30 minutes of course i do not show the sleeping video <laughs> fall asleep video so i make this video as short as possible and now i start to think i need to make even shorter video one question one video and i put it on youtube so this is why i have so many video some of this video i do not publish it it becomes unlisted so that uh, people will not be bothered have a uh, hundred videos every day so i make it like this make short video and when you need make a demo and you can put in your uh, photo photo album you can share photo album also so that's the way i conduct my class so students see crispy clear sound make sure your internet connection is good if it is good they can see it clearly and easily okay now i will stop share and we go back to zoom and i blow it up so that you can see it clearly and you can see i always use um use this uh, um, headset i do not use that big boss headset because it covers my hair and uh, and just not good and this one is simple and easy there is a sound people can see it clearly just in case you really need you can put it closer to your ear and uh, we always got students blow up in the headset gosh and it's quite annoying you have to remind the students not to do that anyway um, this way i hear the sound because i only have one thing this the 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 sound from my cell phone is disabled no matter join in my video conference for demo or not to join in just on the side the sound is disabled you just put into this little red button so there is no oh, oh, are you seeing it yes here so there is no sound you, in class you do not hear billing 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 sound and a lot of uh, video um, notice because we use classroom uh, a, a special side of classroom students now post their work on the internet and we can see their work okay we go closer so i can see the student work 
and uh, I got notice. A few days ago, I always have this notice on. In my class, the notice will come up and uh, pop up. So my computer, because there is a notice, you cannot do anything else. But the notice is always there. Until five seconds later, it disappears. I can continue to do my things. But it's very disturbing and uh, d distracting. So make sure you close off all the notice. No Facebook notice, no internet notice, no email notice. When you go back, you will uh, turn it on if you need. But just stay away from too many information, too many notices. Nobody need you that much, okay? Just to rem remember, the person who really needs you is yourself. Take care of yourself. Other people do not. They, you can ignore them. The world will not collapse if you ignore them. So ignore all these notices and make sure that you are on the very best condition of yourself. And uh, that is more important. And I make this song because in my home, the first time when I started connecting everything, the sound is so loud and it's not good. So I put on the headset. I only hear my students, I hear others through my headset so that it will not disturb the others. And also putting it on, the surrounding noise will be less distracting. If you do not have it on, the other person walk at home on the other room or the background sound will be very disturbing. And I notice sometimes in class when the students' sound come up, their parents talk, their little siblings talk, siblings talk, and it's very noisy, especially when uh, parents walk at home, they need to do some business phone calls. It's really not... not not good to 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 release all those information to expose those informations so be kind if you hear one student their parents talking or their uh, the family noise be kind notice that student and say please you mute yourself and most of the time you can mute them you can mute them mute them you mute them and uh, notice or not let them know that uh, um, you can close the door or i mute you so that nobody hears your background noise but right now i just mute everyone so in the class you have this you have this uh, participant page when you click on participant this participant page pop up. You can mute them all so that you can do instruction and mute everyone. But since you are the host, you will not be muted. See, your microphone is still on. You will not be muted. And you can mute everyone so that you can conduct your instruction. And you need a few minutes of your quiet time. Nobody in the class. And you can slowly, nicely talk through what you want to talk. Otherwise, everyone can pop up. And at the end of your instruction, five minutes later, every now and then, unmute. So all the participants are unmute. They can talk. And also, you have another function here in the more. You can allow participants to unmute themselves. So when they have a question, they can unmute themselves. This does not work very, very well for younger age students. First grade, second grade, 
they just talk loud and they do not have a very clear sense of the spatial, the spatial relationship, the surrounding. It's their age thing. It's not students. It's not good. It's just they are too young to understand them. So you can disable them from allowing themselves to unmute. This way, you will help your class conduct in a more conductive way. And you can click on each student. Okay, you do not a uh, students to unmute, but you always have the right to unmute. For example, I want to I want to ask uh, uh, Johnny to answer the question, so I will click on his name and unmute him, so it can be unmuted. You can also use the sidebar as uh, a lot of time. Let me see if I have chat. I will not let you see the chat, so let me move away a little bit from the screen. So sometimes you can share a link. Let me blow up to the full page. This is myself. And you can go to the chat. Chat to share some of the link you want to share with others. For example, if I have Google Form exercise for students to practice, I will share those link. If I have a video for students to watch without using my bandwidth, and sometimes the video is made for the whole class to use, sometimes they can use those videos at their leisure time, then I can do like that. So I go to chat. So for example, I can go to my Safari and this wind, this, uh, um, this video is good. I can share this video I have done or some Google form and go back to my chat and to everyone or to a particular one, a lot of time I have some students who has uh, uh, who need more exercise. Some students need more um, more video time. So I go to here. You can choose everyone or one particular student and type in this link. Go, go, and they can type in this link. This I need to see because it's from me. I cannot see. I need to see from this window, from my handset. Okay, this you need to see from here. So I am about to send the link again. Okay, here to everyone. Okay, sending. Enter, enter, yes, send. Okay, on my own screen, I do not see the link, but from here, I can see a link. Here, there is a notice more. Whenever there is something happening, whenever there is something happening, there is a note, and you can see what is happening. If it is a raised hand, if it is a, 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 a reflection, see, chat. Okay, I can go to that link. It brings up to this video. Blow it up to full screen. They will watch this video, exactly what I have done. And they can do this one. They are out of my Zoom meeting. They do not turn off the Zoom. They are outside the meeting, stop the video, but still they are in the meeting. They are not outside the meeting. I cannot see them. What I can see is something like this, their image. Sometimes their name, sometimes they choose an image, sometimes their emoji, anything but they do not show their face. This is how it works. So share some of the video.
the good thing about share those videos. First, they do not take your bandwidth, so that your bandwidth is is you can keep your your video quality in higher uh, quality and faster speed. We have never thought about this bandwidth so much, but now precious every of our resource. The second thing, they use their bandwidth at their own home. Maybe they have better bandwidth than you, or maybe they have their bandwidth, that is their internet speed. Maybe they have um, they have a, a, a better internet speed, or maybe they do not have better internet speed, but they can slow down and they can wait, let it buffer. Do I make any sense? And even more important, they can go outside to their backyard and sit under the sunshine, sit in the shadow and enjoy a cup of, uh, a cup of uh, water, drink and enjoy it. When people are happy, they learn better and they are more productive. Do I make any sense? <laughs> Okay, now it's my real face, and uh, this is it. Thank you very, very much. I hope this video get you to sound sleep. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's so long and tedious. Bye, bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.